YouTube. What it do? It's your boy Steph. <clears throat> yeah, y'all didn't see the wolf and venom in a while. It's been like three days. Um, it's a real good video. Fucking time, man. It's like about to go on today. I did the video yesterday, and this woman that you know, she always uh, in the comment section. Her name is Candy C. Um, she made a really, really great comment in the comment section. And it's going to be the topic of this video, right? And this is what she said. And basically, my video yesterday was about sisterhood protects feminism, right? And this is what she said. IMO, women are damned if we do, damned if we don't. While we're single, the narrative is you're single until you're married. So all is fair in love and war. That is a bullshit fucking narrative. That is a narrative made up by old women who are in fucked up, unhappy, beta cuck marriages. You're single until married. What? If your woman say some shit like that to you, bro, that ain't the woman for you, bro. You're single until marriage? I mean, I I get the concept. But it's just like, I'm going to do it. Basically, what it's, to me, what it's saying is, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Because I'm single. Even though I got a man, I'm going to still be single. Okay. Right. So she says, um, if we settle down with the first good man we meet, say at 20, then we haven't explored the possibilities and we regret it later when we find out that that good man is not so good. That is some fucking bullshit. Y'all get all the fucking game, bruh, from the age of 12. Mamas, aunties, grandmamas. Putting y'all on game while we is getting the shitty end of the stick. What is not even the shit? Let's say this thing called, if this thing, female nature didn't exist. The so-called good man, you would be with him right now. It, you, or not you, but the woman who said they want the good man. That's, am I keeping it a buck? Treat her nice, treat her kind, court her, take her to dinner. Don't be an asshole, don't be a jerk. Love her. Don't call her out of her name. Don't always show that you care for her. Sacrifice your life for hers and the children. You mean the woman, you mean women in y'all in y'all women's lives wasn't telling y'all what kind of man you should chase? What kind of man is a good man? You mean to tell me y'all women don't have the intuition to know when you see a, a, a asshole, a thug, a street, not so good guy versus a good guy that you know will worship the ground you walk on. Are you kidding me? That's not what you want. You know that's not what you want. You don't get shamed for that. You know that's not what you want. Let's just keep it a buck. That's not what you want. It doesn't matter if I'm not 30 or 40 or 50. I'm 22 years young. I can see what you women want. But if, if, there was, if there was this no such thing as female nature, if there was this no such thing as red pill philosophy and, and, and game, y'all, all, all of us would be good. We'd be getting laid like a motherfucker. Man, you see that big ass booty, big, big booty bitch over there? Go, man, let's go holler at her. We finna go holler at her. Hey, babe, what's your name? Oh, my, my, my name's Steph. You know, I came over here because I find you hella attractive. Here's my number. Take you out sometime. Okay. 
You take her out. You text her throughout, throughout the week. You text her throughout the week. Before the date. Validating her. Ooh, she loving it. And then y'all. And then like y'all fuck a week later, two weeks later. Y'all get y'all together. Nah. You boyfriend type. Nigga, she finna make your bitch ass go through hoops. Come on, man. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. We have, men have intuition, just like women have intuition. I believe our intuition is a bit stronger than y'all's. But y'all have great intuition. Let's continue. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. That's, that's straight. It's bullshit, bro, because that's where this whole alpha beta thing come in at. <sighs> okay. Did she said, uh, okay. If we settle down with the first good man we meet, say at 20, then we haven't explored the possibilities and regret it later when we find out that good man is not so good. Or eight years later, when we give it them our best years, and they still don't want to commit, or after they, or or after we've married them, but feel trapped in un, unfulfilled years later because we never had the chance to have our whole face trying to be the good girl. That's that's hypergamy. That is hypergamy right there. She just explained it. She just explained it. Or eight years later when we give them our best years and they still don't want to commit. They don't want to commit because I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you're, you're older, right? Cause you're not, you're not my age, I know that. You gotta be in your 30s, damn near 40s. You're not my age. I know that for a fact. So, if a man doesn't want to commit, why the fuck do you keep chasing him after eight years? Because that's what you like! Ooh, he's so much of a challenge. But if he was this guy that you put in the quotations, y'all would already been committed. Y'all damn would already been married. And then it would be game over. Game over, like you're bored. See, this is why, like, I just posted on my um on my Instagram, some dude said that I'm 22 and I'm too young and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Nigga, I saved too many dudes' lives. Just off this strength. I'ma tell y'all something, bro. There is nothing wrong with be hey, there is nothing beta about a man being in a relationship. Ain't nothing beta about it. It's only beta when you in a beta male position. It's only beta when you have a beta mindset. It's only beta when you act like a beta fucking bitch. That's when it's only beta. That's when it's only beta. That's when it's only beta. Things don't make you beta. You make you beta. Things don't make you alpha. You make you alpha. Oh shit, I got a, I got a, I got a Lamborghini. You're not alpha because you got a Lamborghini, nigga. And you're not beta if you don't have one. If that woman is following your principles and you like her and you love her and she's in love with you. Let me say that. You love her and she's in love with you. Ain't nothing beta about loving a woman. It's beta when you in love because now you got your emotions. And when your emotions is involved, you acting like a bitch. And bitches are betas. Because when you in love with something, your emotions change. So you're not thinking from a logical point. The most high don't want you to be in love with a bitch. You should be in love with your passion. You should be in love with your grind, your purpose. Not with a woman. That's not, it's not bad. It's just what it is. But see, she don't 
even want you to be in love with her. She don't even want that. But she would say that. She would say that. Venom, she would say that shit. She was, you know, I like Venom because he don't give a fuck. I like Wolverine because he don't give a fuck what other people think. See, the world wants you to be in love with your woman. You ain't got to be in love with your woman, but you can love somebody. You can love your woman. Ain't nothing wrong with doing it. Ain't nothing beta about that. Ain't nothing beta about that. Let's continue. I'm going in today. It's bullshit. It's you know when you met a good man. You just don't want a good man. Not right now. Not yet. I want, I want him. I want, he's sexy. He make my pussy wet. Black Ram 313 said it best. If she kept it a buck, she wouldn't be able to survive. She knows that. She knows that. Fuck. I don't really want a good guy right now. But I'm going to be a narcissist and flip the script and blame it on him. When it's really me. Fuck out of here. Let's continue. I'm, I'm cooking today. Or eight years later when we've given them our best years and they still don't want to commit or we've married them but we feel trapped and unfulfilled years later because we never had the chance to have our whole face trying to be the good girl. But when we do explore the possibilities and available options like men do, like 10% of the men do, like 5% of the men do, Dude, do you know how hard it is for a nigga to get him some piece of pussy now? Fuck, man, fuck all this shit. Niggas be like, man, it's so easy to get a bitch. All you gotta do is download Tinder. Shut the fuck up. What's your success rate on Tinder, nigga? You know how hard, why do y'all think that when you talk about topics on how to get women, the motherfuckers get thousands of views? Cause Niggas wanna know how to fuck bitches. You think you 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 think women f fuck that beta male voice? Um, you think do women look up um YouTube videos on how to fuck men? Fuck no. A five got fifty niggas in her DM right now, ready to dig that fat bitch guts out. Does a five as a man SMV have fifty women? Fuck no. He's fucking stressed the fuck out. Talking about as much as men do. Shit, I wish. I wish us men, if us men had the same success rate as y'all do, this red pill community shit wouldn't exist. It wouldn't exist. There would be no me. Well, I'd still be here, but it'd be more fitness. Wouldn't be no AMS, Black Ram. Solo, Afi, book, well, book, I probably would still be here because he's more spiritual. There wouldn't be nothing about nice guys and shit like that. Who cares if we're a nice guy if we're getting bitches? Bad bitches. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Like men do. Like 5% men do. Right. We're criticized because many women aren't sure what they want at a very young age. That's true. I agree with you on that. And it may take several years and a few mistakes to figure it out. That's true. We're deemed as thoughts, hoes, or passing up the good guys for the men who light a fire under us because we were never taught. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Because whether you're taught by a fa by a father, you tell a you tell a woman you stay the fuck away from them type of guys. You gonna go right back around there and chase that type of guy. Why? Because it's in your and I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It's just in your nature to do so. You tell a female to, to stay away from somebody, that's gonna make her pussy even better to go approach him. Why does the female brain work like that? I do not fucking know. Why is the fuck? Why does it happen? I do not fucking know. 
I, I wish the most high was just, this is why it happened. I don't know. That's bullshit you saying. That's bullshit. Because we were never taught right. Even if you were taught right. We the ones, we the ones that wasn't taught right. We the ones that wasn't taught right. Let's just keep that shit a buck. We the ones that wasn't taught right. You're supposed to cry with the woman. You're supposed to be emotional. What kind of beta cuck shit is that? You crying. Why? Because we've been conditioned at an early age to make that emotional state in our minds to create the mindset of an emotional bitch. When the woman is supposed to be emotional, not the man. Let's continue. Okay. Like men do, we're criticized because many women weren't sure what they wanted at a very young age and it may take several years and a few mistakes to figure it out. We're deemed that stops, hoes are passing up good guys for men who light a fire under us because we were never taught. Now that is true. You know, most guys do shame, do do judge y'all. And I tell guys, never judge her. Don't call her a, a hoe or, or nothing like that. You know, in the Red Pill community, we tell the quickest way to get them, the quickest way to really want to understand a woman or what, make her to tell you, her, tell you the truth is to not judge her. So that's true. Um, Talk otherwise. So we go in basic attraction, height, physique, resources. Then as a woman starts to mature at 27, 28, she starts to make better choices from past mistakes, right? But then she hits the wall and it's too late. I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? What do you mean you don't understand? I mean, yeah. The, like Rolo Tomasi says, the epiphany phase is something where, do women know what the fuck they doing, man? I have no remorse for these bitches, bro. I have no result. I have no remorse. I have no remorse for these women. These women know exactly what the fuck they do. Dude, they know they don't want to settle down at 20. They know the difference between a fucking asshole and a good ass guy that's going to be a provider for their life, get them pregnant, have some money. They know the fucking difference. They know the difference between a fucking alpha and a beta. They just choose to fuck their alpha. Let's just keep it a buck. And the alpha guy can be the guy that has the that has the money, the resources, the leadership skills to to lead a family. She just don't want that. She wants to have fun. She wants to go through. Women don't just go through their whole phase. It just doesn't happen. Like I'm going down the street. It's happening. No, she wants it to happen. Henry, you're right, Henry. I said, Fine. Why did that lie to us and make it seem like it just happens? Because, Henry, subcommunication is a motherfucker. It's always somebody else's fault, and it's never the woman's fault. That's female nature. Well, fellas, that's today's video. I think this is one of the best videos I made this year. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy.